run. Just run. Hi guys, it's Adam and welcome to the final video of uh, looking at the stuff from my most recent auction haul. So today I've got a load of framed engravings for you. Um, and these are really, really cool and I'm so glad I got these. And I was actually the only bidder, I was the maiden bidder. It went to me for £10 plus commission because obviously that's my, uh, the auction house I go to, that's their lowest or the minimum bid that they will accept. Um, I think it, did it used to be five quid or has it always been a tenner? I think maybe it used to be five quid and it, they've now bumped it up to a tenner for whatever reason. But to be honest, it's pretty fair because the auction house I go to the stuff that's in the lot is really, really good quality, and these engravings kind of tell it. Um, so I'm more than happy to pay £10 plus commission uh, for these here. So with that being said, I will get on and show you the first item. So first off, we've got this. Uh, I don't know actually how well it's going to come out in the light because you can see my photography light there. Um, yeah, it might struggle. You might struggle to see it a little bit. But this is um, Saint Albans Abbey. Uh, is it what uh, May thirtieth? Is that seventeen ninety one? Yeah, I think it's seventeen ninety one. Um, that's pretty cool. Um, and then it's in this lovely frame. It's obviously got black to the inside of the frame, and then it's got um, like sort of gold colour around it there as well. Really, really nice, like gold edges and gold inside as well. Um, really, really cool. Now, I've been looking at a few of these, uh, I've got a few of these St. Saint Albans ones, and I've been looking, and I've got a couple up here, actually. These are two engraved prints of St. Albans, uh, Albans, the Abbey, and St. Peter's Church, 11 by 9 inches framed, and then they went on auction, for 20 quid plus postage um, and I'm trying to think how much 11 inches is that's like what 30 centimeters or something so this is way bigger than well I'd say it's way bigger than 30 centimeters but it's a little bit bigger than 30 centimeters at any rate it's probably like 40 or something like that maybe slightly bigger than that but yeah maybe about 40 um, but yeah pretty Pretty cool item. I'm thinking of putting this one up for around 30 to 40 pound, maybe 40 quid, because I think 30 is a little bit too too low. Um, but yeah, I'm thinking of putting this up maybe 39.99, something like that, plus my postage. Uh, really cool item, and obviously that will pay for the entire lot if I do get that. I see no reason why I wouldn't, because there's not much of this stuff available as far as I can tell. There's not much in the way of sold information. I've, there's a few that have sold when they've cropped up, but it seems like, you know, that they don't crop up too often. So, yeah, pretty happy with that one. Um, and there are some more um, St. Albans ones, so I will show uh, those to you now. So this is the Market Cross and Conduit... Con Conduit... Um, market cross and conduit. I need to Google what conduit means. I think in the past maybe I knew what it meant because I've heard it before. But yeah, maybe I need to Google what that means again. Um, at St. Albans, Albans, Hart... Oh, God. Not very good at reading today, am I? Hertfordshire. Um, and does it have a date on this one? I don't think it does. But still, nice little item there again. Probably going to go between 20 and 30 on that one and uh, plus my postage of course and I'm just going to let these sit on um, because basically all I'll need is one sale and then I'm in profit so I don't mind putting these on and just letting them sit and sit and once I get a sale whenever that is then obviously I'm in profit so yeah that's that one there anyway so we've got a couple here this is Grey's Inn Hall Chapel and Library don't know whether this is in St Albans I'm really not sure actually um, I'm guessing it is because, uh, maybe not, maybe I'll do that separately actually. I was thinking of bundling these two together. This is the Town Hall St. Albans, their little one. Um, but I'm not sure because this doesn't say St. Albans on it, so I might not bundle them together. But if I don't bundle them together, I'll probably whack them on for 15 to 20 quid a pop, something like that. And uh, hopefully at some point someone will uh, have them for that. This one is in a different frame as well. So it's making me think that 
yeah, maybe that one isn't a part of this kind of uh, family of uh, engravings. So, yeah, not sure. But even so, if I bundle them together, then I might bundle them together for like 25 plus postage, maybe 30 quid. If I do them separately, between 15 and 20 quid separately, something like that, maybe 15 quid separately. Um, so, yeah, that's those there anyway. We've got this nice little St. Albert, uh, Albans Abbey. Now, I was thinking about bundle it, bundling it with that larger one, but then I thought to myself, well, I'm not sure, and I'm still, I'm still debating it, whether I should bundle it with the larger one or not, and maybe add a little bit of value onto that one, or whether just to do this on its own. For, again, similar to what I described about those other smaller ones, maybe, um, I don't know, 15 quid, maybe 20 quid, um, on its own there. It's a nice little one though this, but you see I can see someone wanting this one but not the big one. Or I could see someone wanting the big one but not the little one. So I don't know whether, you know, in, in that case I don't know whether it would be good to bundle. So that's why I've kind of separated them out. Um, because I'm sure someone would love this little engraving on the wall but not the other one. So yeah, don't know whether bundling up would be a good idea actually, but yeah. Uh, that's that one there anyway. So, a bit of a different one here. This is uh, Qu Central Criminal Court, Old Bailey. Again, nice little engraving, you can see there. Um, and it's got this nice frame to it. All these frames, I have to say, are in pretty good... Well, actually, there isn't what, there's one frame that isn't in good condition, so I'll say it now. But some of the paintings I get, the frames are really worse for wear. Some of them are a bit loose. Um, you know, obviously, some of them just... It, they've not been well kept, I suppose. Um, but these in this lot seem to be pretty nice. Um, now, I've checked very, very quickly on eBay for this one. Can't see it anywhere. There's like a... Don't know whether it was a postcard or an engraving or something um, of the central court that had gone for like four or five quid. But it wasn't like a framed one like this one. Um, so I'm thinking like 20, 25 quid on this plus my postage. I mean, if I need to come down, I'll come down. Um, I might even be tempted to go 30 quid on it, you know, and just and just wait. Um, or, or just see if I get any offers on it, I suppose, at that price. Um, but yeah, it's, it's interesting. It's different. Doesn't seem to be much available. Uh, surrounding this sort of topic so yeah it does make me want to go a little bit higher rather than, rather than just go low um, but yeah that's that one there anyway this is the southwest view of Lincoln so it's a little bit different but again it's in this same frame and I really have to say the more and more I look at these frames the more and more I like them they're just they're so suited um, to these engravings actually, but yeah, really really nice frames these. Um, so yeah, this is the southwest view of Lincoln. Uh, now I've not done any research on this one actually, but I don't think it's necessarily going to be huge, huge money. Now I might be tempted to put this on around the £30, maybe a little bit less, but around that, uh, around that sort of figure. Because it is a nice one, it does look really nice actually this one. You can see there. I will do some more research because obviously, I don't know, it might be more than that. But as a sort of guesstimate, a rough guesstimate from me not doing my research properly before this video on this one, um, I'm thinking around that and uh, as I say, if I need to come down then I will do. But it's quite nice, I like it. It's, like a, it's just a nice little engraving, that one. Um, but yeah, so that's that there. Ah, now here we go. Here's a frame that isn't in good condition. Right, okay. This is, yeah, this is not good actually. I'm gonna have to, I don't know. I'll probably just have to sell this one a bit cheaper. It's basically with cardboard on the back and it's very, very flimsy around here and stuff. So I might have to sell this uh, quite a little bit cheaper or something. Um, so I don't know what I'm gonna go on price on this one actually. Um, because of that cardboard on the back, but this is Al. Oh, I can never. I've I've heard of this place quite a lot, but I can never pronounce it. Alnwick. Alnwick. Is that A L N Wick? Anyway, Alnwick Castle in Northumberland. Um, so that's that one there. Anyway, still quite a nice uh, looking item, but unfortunately, yeah, the frame lets it down. You can. Don't know whether you can hear. Actually, it's a bit rattly. It's not actually rattling that much now, but. Yeah, it's a bit it's a bit rattly anyway with flip frame, so bit of a shame on that one uh, to do with the frame of course, but yeah, anyway, that's that. And then we've got this nice little dinky one here of the old Bailey. I don't know whether you can see it says under there the old Bailey. 
don't think you'll be able to see it very well. It is kind of like right at the bottom. It's almost tucked underneath this kind of little bit of white here. A little bit of, I suppose it's like white card or something. Um, but yeah, I don't know on this one because it's a nice little um, engraving of the outside of the old Bailey. Um, I might go like 20 quid or something on it and then come down if I need to. Uh, I do a bit more research into it just to make sure. Lovely little frame though. Again, I like this. I really do like that little frame. Um, I may have to come down on that one. Um, it really depends on the keywords I put in. It really depends on who's looking for it and stuff. Um, and as I say, I will do a bit more research just in case, but... It's a nice one, Matt. I really like that. Nice little quaint one. Um, and a lot of people do go for small little paintings like this. No, well, not paintings, but small little things that we can put on the wall like this. You know, people don't necessarily want, like, you know, I've got big paintings on my walls like that. And then I've got a big one over there. And you can see I've got little little ones here. But... I like I like good big ones, you know. I, I'd have big murals on. I, I'd I'd have a I'd have a room just full. Like I'd get someone in if I had a lot of money. I'd get someone in and I'd, I'd literally have a room and I'd get them to paint the entirety of the walls, you know, um, with just crazy wacky stuff, you know, unicorns and dragons and you know knights in shining armor and you know laser beams coming out of people's eyes and you know rainbows coming out of them and and guns that fire eyeballs and stuff and just really w weird wacky crazy stuff and obviously i've not got the skills to paint that but i'd love i'd love to i'd still love to have that but so i like you know big and bold but a lot of let's say quote unquote normal people well no that makes it sound like they're not normal but what i'm trying to say is that i'm not normal but no most people, let's just say that, most people like lovely little dinky things that you can put on the wall. Maybe, let's say, um, they come in from the front door and they like, like a little, just a little painting there, maybe a little watercolour or something like that. They like those kind of little things, you know, nice, quaint, maybe even a little bit minimalist. Um, so, you know, people can go for these kind of stuff. Sometimes the bigger things, you know, the big Big paintings or engravings or whatever can be a little bit harder to sell because people just don't want, or they might not even have a room necessarily on a wall, or they don't want that certain thing to be the focus point of a room or whatever these days. Seems like the taste is changing a little bit. Um, so, yeah, I don't know, but people like these little miniature things. So, and I do sell, like, when I get like little miniature paintings and stuff up. Not necessarily just miniature ones, but just smaller ones. They seem to go quite well for me, opposed to bigger ones that I might have sat for quite a while. So, anyway, that's that one there. And then finally, this is a really nice little bundle. And I saved this one for, to last, because I think that I'll probably get the most out of this bundle. Now, I told you about those, uh, what was it, uh, two churches engravings that had gone for like 20 quid on bids, plus postage. Probably around a similar size to this, maybe a bit smaller actually, just a little bit smaller. Um, but this one you can see, the glass is cracked inside there. So I'm probably going to have to remove the glass or something, obviously I'm not going to sell it like that. Um, but yeah, so in that one, it's a bit of a shame with that one. Now this is the, um, uh, what is it, Northwest View of St Albans Abbey, Hertfordshire. You know, obviously we've had a couple of engravings with this uh, St. Albans Abbey, St. Albans Abbey, I really can't say that, can I, St. Albans Abbey, I don't know, anyway, but we had a few of them, but um, I've decided to group these together because these are a natural grouping, so this is the northwest view uh, for this one, this is the southwest, no, southeast view of St. Albans Abbey, oh god, I'm not even going to say it, I'm not even going to say it, you know what it is, um, so yeah, there we go, that's that one there. And this one is the southwest view. Now, I don't know whether there should be another view. Maybe there's a bundle of, meant to be a bundle of four of these or whatever. Because um, it seems seems odd just to have three views of it. I don't know. But, um, yeah, anyway, I'm going to bundle these up. And I'm thinking of going, like, 50, 60 quid. Maybe a little bit more. Maybe... I was thinking 60 quid, that was my immediate thought, like before, when I researched these and thought, oh yeah, that's a nice little bundle. Um, obviously with the glass being having taken out of the other one, Max, I suppose that's going to harm it a little bit. But I still think, I still rate these, I still think they're quite cool. So 
I'm thinking around that 60 quid is where I'm going to be at with these. Um, and they are quite nice, and they've got lovely frames to them, so... Yeah, I'm going to see on that one. I'm going to go about 60 quid, something like that. And if I need to come down, then I will come down. Now, I know what people will be thinking, like with this whole video. Or, you know, how do you package paintings? Or how do you make sure a glass doesn't break and stuff like that? You know, it, it's just like packaging anything else, like ceramics or glassware or anything like that. You just got to pack them well, you know, I make sure that I pack my paintings well. Um, I don't generally like, I know that maybe certain people might shove them in between a couple of bits of cardboard, then maybe put something around them, I don't know, like black cling film and stuff. I don't do it like that. I know some people will probably do that like that, um, but I like to do it like, I like to go overkill on the packaging when I'm doing paintings and stuff. I like to make sure there's bubble wrap and everything in there you know plenty of cardboard i like to make sure they're neatly separated out and really really are separated out nicely and i really just go overkill so you know if you ever don't don't be afraid of picking things like this up because you've you're worried about the packaging just think to yourself right you know can i make money on them you know have i got the uh, you know, sort of the rough equipment to be able to package them and then think, yes, well, I've got the equipment to package them. Uh, I, you know, there's money in them. We'll figure the packaging out. Don't worry, because you can easily look online. I'm sure there's tons of videos online about how to package paintings and stuff, to be honest, or, you know, how to package certain things. So, I mean, I've done videos on this channel about how to package, but not nothing like paintings and stuff. But, you know, it, it, it's not too bad as long as you, generally I always say as a rule of thumb, if you can afford to or if you've got maybe a lot of free packaging available, just go overkill on the packaging. Just make sure you've really, really packed it in. And then you can't really go wrong. It's not it, very, very rare it's going to break or anything. So, yeah, that's what I do. I just try and do as much as I can on the packaging side of things and really make sure that they're pack, packaged well. And touch wood and i really i really shouldn't say this out loud i'm I, I was i was debating whether to say it or not but i will i will say it. i've had like two breakages out of thousands of items that i've sold so you know and i've not had any breakages of paintings again touch wood um so you know it, it, you, you've just got to do it basically to the best of your ability with packaging it but anyway i'll leave it there for this video guys um if you did like like it then leave a like down below if you haven't already then please do subscribe if uh you've got any comments questions or queries about anything you've seen in today's video please do let me know down below and uh yeah i'll leave it there for today's video and i will see you in the next one so i will see you very soon guys ravens so finally uh, I said it again i said finally right